the Airshade shading system is a sustainable, responsive shading system that uses simple physical processes that replace electronically or energy-driven uh, features in other shading systems and make them entirely self-sustaining. Uh, I think the most uh, outstanding uh, sustainable characteristic of my project is, is capacity to play with the structures, the existing structure, and to connect the city and the old building with, with, with this. I think that in my project probably what, what's a bit special about it is that all parts are kind of considered equally, so the dependencies are really highlighted in it. So from a larger scale, to con like the context down to the, the building fabric itself and the immediate surrounding, all those parts are considered and kind of like um, evaluated. Bioceramic system is about understanding how uh, a plant, like a moss, can live in the ceramics. So I guess one of my best approaches in this project was to be able to work with material and, and plants that are all around the world. The most outstanding sustainable characteristic of our project is combine social part of sustainability with our ecological part. We combine um, social aspect with ecological education and ecological systems of equipment. Our uh, uh, work is focused uh, on the social concept because uh, we think uh, buildings can be sustainable uh, or be self-sufficient, but we think they, they need the, the user. Uh, we, don't, we don't think that uh, it makes sense to view the, these two parts separately. Um, aggregates in their unbound form have the capacity to recycle from one stable state to, the, to another, to move from construction to deconstruction, and others by nature fully recyclable materials. Our project is um, uh, Construction Materials uh, Village in the port of uh, Brussels. Um, it's laying very next to the city centre, and um, it's an illustration of um, uh, sustainable logistics. A lot of Thinking about uh, how to save energy is done by wrapping buildings. I propose to separate radically the elevation and the interior of a building, but still having it dependent on each other, so that the isolation is like the trigger point to separate inside and outside. We approach the, the matter of sustainability with the concept of porosity. It, it is for us very important that the neighborhood is porous in all senses, you know, socially and ecologically. So it has to become permeable to a broad diversity of actors, of inhabitants, and also be porous towards the nature. The most uh, sustainable aspect of our project I think is the fact that it's a minimum structure that is flexible but requires at the same time as, as little material uh, and, and technology as possible. We need to know what the people that live in the context want. We need to discover the several forces that act in the context and a sustainable project is a project that is able to balance these several uh, forces. My project is sustainable because it listens to the nature. 